What's going on, Reddit? Let's jump into it. Let's get into it. Let's see where all the future of literature starts. It starts at the source, at the font. It starts with OC Poetry. Once again, let's dig into it. Let's start with the DMs. Here's a piece from a Masterpiece Novel. Masterpiece, I, 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 you asked me not to make fun of your username and kind of got to make fun of your username. Masterpiece Novel, really? I mean, okay. Well, maybe you're a master of the novel, but or your novel's a masterpiece. Your poem, matter, matter, period. Don't repeat. You know, say it once. You already have it in the title. You don't need to repeat again. Breathing, moving, living. So we start with breathing. So first, first is the is the um, respiration, and then the movement, and then extrapolate from that to living. I'm not sure whether maybe I'll go breathing, moving, thinking, breathing, moving, um, exploring, breathing, moving, wishing, yearning, breathing, moving, um, working. I don't know feel comma perceiving so then you, you, you the parts of speech are different with feel and then perceiving you have all these gerunds with the ing and then feel doesn't doesn't align seeing meaning i i don't see the meaning yeah you're not showing me that you're showing perhaps organisms or or matter matter itself like if you just have a rock rock doesn't breathe or move or live or feel or perceive so not all matter does that some some matter does some doesn't flawed defective incomplete this is like fall of man, like after Adam and Eve and original original sin. Imperfect souls. So putting souls in a poem, you guys know I usually am not game on that. So if you if you up on the channel and, and you're you're tuning in regularly, you already know that that you know you should avoid putting souls in, in your poem unless you have a very specific reason. Where Adam's meet why do souls meet where Adam's meet? I mean it's an interesting poetical conceit, but maybe put that up at the top and then justify it. Um, I think where atoms meet is elements. Elements are formed. That's what scientists say, right? Like helium is, is formed of like, um, or oxygen is, is formed like helium. And then, uh, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Come on. Conscious vessels witness life. Conscious vessels, like ships with thinking. Ah, I don't know. I mean, what's the theology? Is this supposed to be like theology class or, or like physics class? dark and hostile who is dark and hostile ah are demons dark and hostile peaceful and then peaceful bright ah. you're all over the map masterpiece so i think we'll just we'll just put a can in it you know uh right you know put a, put a pin in it right there and be like dude okay you know um my preference is for folks to try to use the tools of poetry, poetry's ability to relate intimately to the reader, to make a personal connection in our own memories to things we've experienced. Um, and this poem doesn't want to do that. It wants to talk immediately about this kind of theology type or physics type issues. And it's, as a result, to me, not specific and evocative. Um, and people jump on me. They're like, well, you say that about every poem. It's like, well, no, but I don't, though. Some poems really are specific and evocative. Some poems really do transport us to feelings we've had um, and, and you know, relationships and, and, and specific emotions and, and sensations, you know, smells, um, senses, um, you know, uh, um, things, things that we've heard. Uh, make it specific. Okay, uh, Benny just, just sent me this. So Benny, word up. You, you got in just under the wire here. I thought both I thought both sidewalks of a road held love. Both sidewalks of a road held love. Okay. Or maybe both sides of the street have a sidewalk. Okay. A clear sidewalk that held no cracks on the side of a newly paved road. So we have this issue, and we've been over this again and again and again, Reddit, where you have these long lines like this. Um, now on my screen it's it's rendering one way, but you know probably if I do something like this, you know I kind of break it in, then you know it's going to render a different way. And I mean, okay, I mean this 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 might be printable on in any magazine these these lines, but maybe not. I mean this one hands here, this is this is wrapping. So when you do this with a poem, when you make these long lines like this, and you don't you don't new line them, you don't you don't end stop them yourself, you don't take any attempt. 
um, to use the, the typical tool of, of poetry, which is to lineate. When you refuse to do that, you're pushing that out onto the editor. Now, the editor here is Reddit. And whatever Reddit's formatting rules are about how they how they treat on you know how how their browser basically is going to break your lines. But if it went to print, it wouldn't work that way. You'd be pushing that out to the editor of, of the literary journal or the or your book when it goes to press to decide how to lineate your poetry. That to me it just says you don't understand how poetry works. You haven't studied enough to know that the poems should have a certain number of. of typically a certain limited number of beats per line a clear a clear sidewalk that held no cracks on the side of a newly paved road that to me is about 10 stressed syllables that's double than iambic pentameter that's a huge number of stressed syllables let's go to the second our feet gracefully ventured down while our hands embraced and our fingers fingers enter maybe 10 or 11 stress syllables it's a lot of stress syllables the ear this part right is going to take in those stress syllables but this part the brain is going to start to forget them they're going to fall off before you're at the end there's you're going to lose musical potential in your poetry by not lineating in any clear organized manner the path ahead saw no end sight causing for a seemingly indestructible bond it's exactly what i'm talking about this sentence, the path ahead saw no end in sight, causing for a seemingly indestructible bond. This is prose. It's not the line of poetry. There's no attempt to utilize the techniques of poetic, uh, you know, versification to create specific aural, meaning sound impacts for the reader. Ergo, it is weaker than it could potentially be with some attempt at lineation. This to me suggests to me that Benny Boy is either a novice or is willfully ignorant of, of what poetry can do on the page. And in willful ignorance is not a good look, guys. It's not a good look. Now, if you're just new and you're just playing around, I respect that. That's fine. But why send me your your you know um, your attempts, you know, your stylings? when you're just starting out, you know, um, that doesn't make that much sense to me. I can't help you that much. You could help yourself by reading some poetry. That might be more effective. Now let's, let's dive into new, uh, pins and needles, pins and needles. So it's too long. I'm not gonna, okay. If it's too long. Maybe we'll just read a little bit of pins and needles. When you vent to me, it means I am a good listener. Okay. So that's situating the reader. I know what's going on. When you need advice from me, it means I am wise. Okay. Now you better start delivering now. Okay. Put us in the scene. When you cry on me, it means I am supportive. Okay, well, you're continuing the same pattern. Now it's getting slightly repetitious. Maybe it's time to break up the pattern. When you break down on me, it means I'm holding it together better than you. When you bore me with your palm, it means you lose your reader. Don't do that. Beautiful stranger. I walked to the park one morning and watched, ooh, I like it, boy, zoo on. I walked to the park one morning. I like it very much. I watched the birds move, okay? Could be more specific than birds move. Move is not a very evocative verb. Maybe we could be more specific than the birds. What birds were at the park? Were they crows, magpies? Were they... Um, you know, little um, um, sparrows or, you know, uh, chickadees or, you know, what, what do we got at the park? You know, um, gulls, help me out. And the ground not. Oh, okay, the ground's not. 
ending the sentence with mid, the midline caesura. So we, we the, the, this line breaks right in the middle with the full stop on not. I saw a tree stand for 30 minutes. Well, what else is the frickin' tree going to do? Get up and walk away? Yeah, make like a tree and lame. Ah. Okay. Why for 30 minutes? What's specific about 30 minutes? Is that because you like smoked a joint and that was like the time you were high for staring at a frickin' tree for 30 minutes? Jesus, Reddit. Ah. Statue mounted in the snow of December. Okay, that's better. Good. A statue mounted in the snow of December. I like it. It was January then. What? No, it's not. You just said it's December, you jackhole. I left with everything I came with, myself and my past. Ah. You know, so I'm going to tell you this, boys, and you're 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 on to some stuff, okay? You you know you 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 put the pan on the stove and you turn on the heat, so you're you are actually cooking with gas. So I'll give you that, but you know, yeah, come correct, dude. A revival of the author. Oh, jeez, it's going to be one of these like. Sometimes I, I read these titles, I'm like, oh, well, they're going to be ambitious and like talk, talk about some interesting stuff. And then you get into it. It's like, uh, you, you, don't have the, you, you don't have the 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 firepower to support your ambition. We'll see. The revival of the author. From my art, comma, a being manifests. <sighs> Fragmented and incomplete. Yeah. I would agree with you there. The being is True. The being is true. Oh, it's fragmented and incomplete. Except for those that stare, those gawk and dissect. I am gawking and dissect. You put yourself out there, we're going to gawk and stare. You don't want anyone to gawk and stare. You write for yourself in your journal on pen and paper the old-fashioned way. Then you close the book and you put it in a drawer. You put it out here. You invite people to critique. It's how the world works. I cannot see the painting for the paint. You're right, I can't. They're rewarded with a mirror. No, I'm not. There's no mirror here. not showing me anything about myself. <sighs> Other people's houses at night. Other people's houses at night. Okay. Promising. Those nights when the sky has been scoured, cleaned by big gusty winds. From the east, as if the night had never been seen before, and the moon behind the palm tree with the flat, hot, crisp paint of stars. Rhinestone set in blue cardigan, such a sharp sweater. See that? Such a sharp sweater. That's that's a kind of a missed note, a kind of dismissiveness or retreat. Uh, inability to sustain this level of emotion that was so promising and interesting from Brickyard Jimmy here. Okay. Those nights when the sky has been scoured. Very, very good. See see the enjambment there has been scoured new line. Cleaned by big gusty winds. Very good. Everybody can imagine exactly what Jimmy Jimmy is saying now. So you see, see the sky seems totally huge and empty. Just very well conjured by Jimmy Jim's. From the east. I'm not sure why from the east. Maybe there's some significance to that. Maybe easterly wind or something like that. As if the night had never been seen before. Good rhythm there. As if the night had never been seen before. Good good kind of mix of, of doubles and triples there. Good. Um, and, and earned. Usually if you say as if, if you open the poem, this night had never been seen before, people are going to be like, yeah, I'm going to be like, eh. But it's earned after that because the sky has been scoured, clean by big gusty winds. Very nice. And the moon behind the palm tree. See that specificity, Reddit, with the palm tree? You see that? You see that, guys? That's effective. With the flat comma hot crisp paint of stars now that enjambment is not as effective as the scoured clean hot crisp not as effective but i like that they're trying 
Let the Jimmy Jims here is giving it a shot. Crispy paint. Rhinestone set in blue cardigan. Hmm. Now you really are getting the reader's attention. Why? Because those rhinestones set in blue cardigan probably belong to someone who you have some type of interest in. You're putting a human being dressed in something that is potentially alluring or at least festive. Um, and that, that creates associations in the reader's mind. Specific imagery and associations are being activated that might arouse the reader's interest to continue. Effective. Sh such a sharp sweater. Now that line I'd, I don't like. That to me is a, is a, is a, is the is the um, uh, poet dismissing some of their very effective um, poetic conjurings. But then there's this kind of huge cesura, epic cesura. Uh, excuse me, epic enjambment, or uh, this attempt to have multiple lines of of of, um, of enjambment here. Such a sharp, sharp sweater and jam and jam and jam could be somewhere far away. I don't need that. No, I, I think this extra white, extra white space in there is, is distracting and, and, and gimmicky. But okay, could be somewhere far away. Looking back at a Kaaba, I don't know. Uh, so I don't know that reference. I apologize. I don't know everything. Having just conquered it, sailing into Dar es Salaam on a barge at night. Now it goes on. Okay, it goes on into some prose and then and then and then and then. But okay. Dude, Jimmy Jims, this is just no, don't, don't, don't do this with the pros, okay? Jimmy's, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, nada, nada. But you know, Jimmy has some chops here, so kudos to Jimmy, kudos to Jimmy. But then you know you're losing me on this other stuff. This is this is really this is really nice, absolutely beautiful, best thing we've read tonight. Love is love, but what about culture? I'm disappointed already. Staring at the mirror at the curls I left to grow at the shell of radioactive emotions. Okay. Okay, Reddit. That's a Reddit thing, radioactive emotions. I love it, though. Bottled, I refuse to let them flow. Grow and flow. Mm, uh, hypocrisy incarnated in flesh. It's really just not that interesting to me. Fighting the world to stay as such. I was born to shackles and value. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Sorry. I started drinking when my parents died. Oh, it's going to be long, too. Oh, yeah. You did a lot of drinking when your parents died. And I'm sorry. I, I feel you. But, you know, when I was 15, I learned to drive in a red hatchback. It had rusty wheels. Rusty wheel wheels, wheel wheels, and smelled like cigarettes. My parents smoked back then. We all did back then. Guess so. They bought it used from a lot in the valley, and when it was totaled, they were upside down. And alone, not physically, they died sitting upright when the car was full of, like, metal origami on I-5. I am sorry that you went all through all this, and I don't want to make it worse for you, Caleb Trask. But, um, yeah, can't help you. So my, my apologies. Maybe I don't need to help you. Maybe you're, you're doing all the things I need to do. Eternal dance. A tune came wafting through the night. I chased it in my dressing gown. The view ahead was blurred from lights. A carnival had come to town. Why? Why read it? Why do you guys like the, the these neat rhymes? Like rhyming night and lights? I guess a isn't even a neat rhyme gown in town i mean ah and then a carousel was left forlorn please don't use forlorn in poems please please don't you know just just don't put the word forlorn in a poem don't put soul don't don't do that i watched its rotting horses spin mm. distance well, that's another Benny boy. We don't need any. I mean, I love you, Benny boy. You're doing great. Well, I've already covered your stuff. Waltz with a mule. That could be good. Could be. Uh, 
That one, see her, she's made of beauty. Her in the red dress, she wears rubies. You're going to dance with her? Excuse me, miss, would you dance with me? Her ample figure turns. A look of one watching a cat vomit passes over her face. Well, uh, Owen Ruin, you've mastered the art of overstatement. I won't dance with you, she hisses. Hopefully this isn't one of these uh, incel type poems. You know, that's not never a good look. Oh, well, why not? We both know you aren't anyone's missus. I'd rather lay with a cow before laying a gloved hand on your arm. Okay. Ode to Science. Science, after all, it is the key to everything we really want to know. Science just means knowledge, so that's the, what the word means, right? A car mechanic can look at the engine with the flick of a wrist, go from hole to pieces to hole again. What? With a flick of the wrist? What? That mechanic knows cars down to a science? I've never heard anybody say that. The barber can take hedge clippers and cut Mount Rushmore from the bushes on the side of I-75. What? Can he? Or she? Uh, what? A clown breathes fire to cook his dinners? Never seen a clown breathe fire. I mean, I guess there's, there's fire eaters, but the, those aren't necessarily clowns. Those are entertainers. Uh, this is totally off. Well, a microwave would have been sufficient enough. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Just playing with cliches. Okay. Reddit, come on. Give me something good here. A staircase. That could be good. Okay, so we have like an apostrophe here to a staircase. The staircase stood proud and tall, led to domains that could call, domains that knew all immaculate. Rhymes, Reddit. You're killing me. I'm not saying rhymes are never good, but Reddit rhymes are pretty much almost never good. I want to be well. I'm not sure that writing poetry is a good path for people to be well. You want to be mentally well? I think pursuing the, the vocation of the poet is, is not the best way to do it. A lot of people have tried to use poetry for therapy, and it's been a spectacularly a bad idea. So I want every single person on Reddit and every single person watching this video to just take a moment here and repeat after me, if I'm not feeling mentally good, I'm not going to write any poetry because it probably will just make everything worse. I'm not going to write any poetry if I'm not feeling mentally good because it'll probably just make everything worse. Just repeat after me. I'm not saying for some people, some of the time, writing a crazy poem in a journal and closing the journal and putting it back in their desk couldn't make things feel a little bit better. But putting it out on Reddit, it's not going to make anything better. Trust me. It's just going to make everything worse. Maybe it'll make it better for you, but it's certainly going to make it worse for us. They said I was so smart. So how it smarts to start each day, unable to start each day. I think I just went completely around in a circle and started exactly where I started before. Only someone so smart could be so dumb. I would actually think only dumb people can be so dumb but okay so tired of things undone of songs unsung to ones unloved you know i feel you read the timid you know i feel you i feel that you want to be well and you know i understand that you're you're trying to distill those those aspirations to be better into a to, to a poem but um not not off to a convincing star for me. There's a coyote in my head and she's begging to get out. Okay. Fantastic. Do that. That's how it's done. That's it. Show us in imagery. Conjure specific imagery which creates associations in our minds. That's how 
It's done, folks. This stuff, they said I was so smart. Who said you were? Don't start a poem with they. Who are they? Your teachers, your parents, the people in the loony bin. Don't do the they thing, Reddit. They said this. They said that. It's weak. It's boring. How about you said I was so smart? Say that. Make it specific to a person. You always said, mother. You always said I was so smart, mom. So how it smarts to start each day, unable to start. No. Only someone so Oh, don't do the second stanza. I like the third, though. There's a coyote in my head, and she's begging to get out. She's in me. A douse? A douse? I don't know what a douse is. For thoughts to prey on me? Taffors? What? I don't know what a taffor is. I guess I'm not so smart. All right. Oh, depression. Man. This is, this is going to be good. A storm in my mind, an ache in my heart. They ask what is wrong, but where do you start? Play by the past, whose whispers you dread, mistakes you have made, and words you have said haunt me like a phantom. To forgive, to forget, it is it is solace you seek, a shelter from pain that turns your world bleak, that grasps at your heart and chills you so, a shiver that follows wherever you go, and flames can ward it away, and tears that are... Oh. Don't do it, Reddit. Don't do it. Don't do the rhymes. It's not good. From the book I wrote in recovery. What is this a theme tonight, guys? Okay. Uh, what book you wrote in recovery? Why is this part of your poem? Are, are you trying to sell me on a book? I bet you're trying to sell me on a book. I bet your book is self-published. Your book is going to be self-published. And it's too long. Feedback links below. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to find out about your book. I'm sorry. Tyranny. Snoo. To be praised one second and berated the next. It's the way of life. So confusing, I wonder if something I'm hexed, if somehow I'm hexed. You're not. But, um, I, I don't know. I'm not going to berate you. I'm not going to praise you. We'll just, I'll just skip it. Blazing end. Go down in a blaze of glory. For context, I am an EMT. Okay. A firefighter is caught in a house fire, died under my care. So you can't put all this at the beginning of the poem. You don't give people context. For some context, you don't do that. That's not how poems work. You know, we, we look, here's a book of poems. You open these poems up and, you know, there's no like context part for these poems. There's no like, oh, just to explain, okay? So like these books here, which have palms in them. There's no like, oh, just to explain, like, you know, here's why I wrote this palm and what it's about and what I'm going through. You can't do that. Even if you did, which would be weird, um, it's going to get lost with time. People are going to forget to put that in because that's not how palms work. And, you know, it's just, it just doesn't, just, 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 just don't. If you need to put context, what you need to do is you need to put the context into the poem so that readers can read your poem and understand the context. Then they don't need you to follow the poem around explaining it for you, for them, because that doesn't work. You know, I see the pain behind his eyes. As he comes to realize no God would come to heed his cries, to ease his pain before he dies. So then we have we, we, this all four of these are end rhymed, and it's all the A, all one rhyme. It's all like an A rhyme. Why? Why do that? This person, this the CMT who dealt with this difficult experience, has every goddamn right to write this poem and share this poem with people and, and seek connection, communion, 
through poetry with this act. I 110 support that. I, I, I'm not trying to say people shouldn't do this. And OC poetry is a big tent. You know, if this is if this is what you want to do, you know, OC poetry is here and get, to get your back. Um, what can I say? I think there's this issue which I have where people think, well, poetry is kind of like this. They have this idea like it's this ultimate democratic art form. Since it's cheap, you don't need any money to, to write a poem. You don't need any special access to anything. Anyone who, who knows English or any language really can write a poem and share it instantly through the power of technology with anyone else in the world. And therefore, we can learn so much more about other people. Um, and their lives and uh, what they value and and we could put ourselves live inside someone else's skin and that could be transformative except it doesn't end up working why doesn't it end up working because the average person or you know an ordinary person who's not practiced and skilled at this art they're going to write a poem that is unable to transport us into someone else's skin and put us in someone else's body it takes years and years and years and years of dedication and craft to be able to do that. I'm not saying you shouldn't try or you, you should be forbidden. Of course, everybody should have an opportunity to try. But a skilled poet can, can transport us into all types of different people from all different backgrounds. Um, now, we need poets of different background, backgrounds. We need poets from, from working class backgrounds. We need poets... From, from different ethnicities, from different parts of the world. We need poets, um, you know, um, who are, who are uh, different sexualities and, and um, different genders and uh, different religions. We need all of those different things. But most of all, we, we need poets who are capable of harnessing language to a specific end. And that might not be exactly what OC poetry is about, but I feel very, very strongly um, th some of the some of the folks I've met on OC poetry are really trying to do that, are trying to take the literary possibilities, the techniques of poetry seriously and hone them through a deliberate practice of writing more ambitiously um, every time to try to get better, to try to improve, to try to be able to do things with poetry that only the masters could do. I don't want to pick on anyone. That's not my goal. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to punch down on anyone. I think that's BS. I'm saying I think it's right and correct to acknowledge that, you know, there, there's such a thing as quality. It's, it's not all relative. You know, not, not everyone can, can write an equally good poem and that's okay that's not mean you're a better or worse person a lot of poets who who are quite accomplished who, who've done great things weren't necessarily great people let's look at one more until you have a home if you've no home to stay keep wandering far May your path be free of fear and no demons cross your way. See, this, again, we, we put these demons in here. Why? It seems weird. We live in this 21st century society, which is increasingly kind of atheistic, I suppose. Maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. But religion would seem to play less and less of a role in regulating our lives and our relationships and our ambitions. But these poems keep coming back to them, these Christian themes over and over and over and over and over again like it's inescapable and my answer to that is you need to study more deeply the tradition of poetry so that you can use these themes correctly if you can walk no more have no fear rest a little here but never lose your way this is not your place to stay put us somewhere show us these demons Give us a specific journey, you know, 
um, Eurydice, she made the journey um, with or Orpheus, tried to retrieve Eurydice from hell. That, that's that's a, that's a pretty big journey. You could show us that. Dante, Dante made the made the journey to hell uh, with his guide Virgil. Um, Virgil himself had his heroes um, visit hell. Um, as did um, uh, I said many others um, Homer there's plenty of mythical examples Milton of course his hero visits hell his, vi his hero creates hell give us specifics read Deeply. All right. I think we're good. Reddit. So I Reddit, I I need need you guys to do something for me. Um we we've we've dealt with some regulars in the past. Um folks folks who, who are clearly dedicated to try and get better. And, um, you know, I need, need some more of you people to step up. And I feel like maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I need to provide you some incentive, some reason why you're going to um, come back and, and send me some DMs with, with the ambitious poetry stuff you're working on. That, that is, a, 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 it's really trying to engage and kind of grapple with, um, with trying to write better poetry. And, and trying to engage with the literary tradition rather than just trying to express immediate raw emotion you're really trying to um, shape over time um, the, the sensibilities of your emotions and and um, refract just the right amount of them um, through the right um, you know angle um, to create the specific outcomes and specific effects that you're interested in. Those are the poets who I'd like to discuss more on this channel. And I'm wondering, based on tonight's sample, if OC Poetry is the place where these, these folks are getting together. Um, so I need your input. But I, I think I also need to provide some people some incentive. You know? So um, I, I'll throw down the gauntlet here, guys. Send me something that impresses me. Um, you know, uh, uh, give me, give me, a, give me a poem that impresses me uh, for next within the next week or so, because that's when I got to make my next video. I'll give you gold if it impresses me, and if not, I'll tell you why it doesn't impress me. But I'm, I'm officially starting my gold search starting today. Searching for gold. I want one poem that is genuinely ambitious and interest doesn't doesn't have to be perfectly successful but it does have to be intellectually honest in its engagement of wanting to write a poem that's interesting and ambitious i'll give it gold if you can do that not sexy not funny not silly um not any of that. I mean, it could it could incidentally be any of those things. And if you have questions, DM me. But you know, I, I'm not not having it, not not feeling it. You guys, come on, let's step it up. Gold search starts now. Let's do this. I know you got it. I know you got it for me, Reddit. I know you got it. Talk soon.